Hello, Gayatri here. Today I have a tutorial on how to make a V-fold pop-up card. Actually, it's a V-fold lifter. So when you open the card, the inner panel pops and lifts upwards. And when you close it, it just folds and fits snugly inside and there is nothing seen outside. Now this is how a V-fold uh, looks like. When you open a V-fold card, whatever is attached to the flaps will pop up. Now to make the card base, I have taken a 200 to 220 GSM thick cardstock, which is 11 and a half inches long. And I'm going to score it at five and three quarters. Now see that the edges are even and crease and burnish well all the folds. Now for a pop-up card the folds should be sharp. So you will see me uh, folding and uh, burnishing on both the sides. Now this is the card base. Now to make the V fold I have taken another piece of cardstock which is lighter than the base card this is around 100 to 120 gsm you can use any pattern paper I'll fold it around two and a half to three inches and crease it well burnish it well with a bone folder now we are going to make a cut from the corner now the deeper the angle the more lift you will get for the inner panel. Now mark one and a half inches from both the ends and cut a strip. I'll be making two strips of the same size. Now we have two V folds. We need to attach this to the card base. So I am going to score at the bottom. Now when you are scoring see that you place it properly and score it at the bottom around half an inch. Score it well so that you get an impression on the back side also. Now I am going to attach a red tacky tape over here. So I have attached the red tacky tape at the base. I am going to cut the corners. Now I will be cutting it quite deeply. Fold and burnish all the four lines. Now see that uh, when you are folding these edges don't overlap. That's why we cut deeply the both the corners. Let's attach it to the card piece. 
now there are few things uh, which you have to keep in mind now the v fold length will depend on how big your inner panel is suppose you have a bigger inner panel then uh, you will need to make two v folds so that the panel is supported well and another thing is the central fold of the v fold and the central fold of the card base should match so uh, let's remove the backing of the red tacky tape and stick it Now we have added the V fold to the card base. Let's attach the panel. So to attach the panel, you can use a single sided tape and stick it at the back. But I am going to use uh, paper strips which are around 1 inch wide and uh, 2 inches long. I have scored it at the center and creased well. see that you don't overlap the fold when you attach it on the sides Now again when you are attaching this panel see that the fold of your inner panel and the fold of the card base matches press and burnish well. Fold and burnish well. Hope this works. Let's open. Ta-da! See how beautifully it pops and lifts upwards. Now remember you have to burnish all the folds well to have a good pop-up card. Now to uh, make a panel which pulls down let's see how we can do it so i have the other v fold and another smaller panel now the it's it's actually attached in the opposite direction as we did for the first one now this is a bit bigger so i'm going to snip off a little bit and do the same thing as we did for the first panel. fold and 
burnish well before you attach the second flap adjust the panels and then fold and burnish hope this works let's see there you go see how beautifully both the panels just slide and move away from each other hope you liked my tutorial and give it a try if you liked my tutorial give a thumbs up sign any queries you post it in the comment box below thank you for watching bye